I think we did it. We did it, Joe. So yes, I have a mask on because I'm currently with my mom. Hi. And we are going to Crate and Barrel right now to do a little furniture shopping. I'm so excited to look at things. Um, I'm not going to probably buy anything for myself today, but it's nice to look around, right? Because, you know, in a few months I will be moving. So I'd like to get an idea of what is around. So very excited for this little date because they have restoration hardware here and Z Gallery as well. So... Let's get it. and enjoy you know take your mask off mm. <laughs> so guys um i guess we didn't understand that it is a sunday and they closed at seven but my mom or six because on the website it said seven and i didn't know that where we, we were going was um actually like the mall and i mean we have to look at, at a little stuff but we're always we're, we're just gonna come back eventually um, did you see anything you like there? A lot. Good. They have so, nice stuff. They do. They do have nice things. I'm glad you liked what you saw. Um, but we're about to go eat, guys, at Old Faithful, which is Olive Garden. I don't know if that's what I really want to eat. Man. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I never understood the whole, oh, <laughs> like, going out with women and, like, you know, oh, they never know what they want to eat. Because I'm really kind of decisive about what I want to eat. Per why are you looking at me like that? Uh -huh. I'm decisive about what I want to eat. Um, yeah, I don't know what I want to eat personally. Let's go to Legacy West. Okay, let me see what's up. What do you feel like eating though? That's what you I don't care. I'm on 2% though, so you're going to have to do the directions. Um, what do you want me to do? Anything. Where do you want me to? Um... You can put Legacy West, but I'm trying to find what is out there so that we know what we're going to eat before we go out there. You know? I don't know. Legacy West restaurants. Okay. They got... You want Mexican... Oh, Toulouse? They have a Toulouse out here? I've gone to Toulouse out in Houston. Toulouse is good. It's nice and bougie. Um, How about Mesero? I saw that too. That is the one I'm used to. I've never had it. What is it? It's really nice. Remember when I sent you some pictures? I go out with my staff. And oh. Yeah. That's where you go? Yeah. What that's kind of food? Oh, it's Mexican. Okay. Yeah. I'm down. Are you sure? Absolutely, Let's man. Let's go because it's hard to get a place. Uh, let me find a table then right now. First. Oh, okay. Oof. Girl. 7.45. You don't have anything now? Don't call. But sometimes you can't walk in. Mm hmm But I just want to get us something at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we want to wait till 7.45. It's okay, sir. What French. Is it French? said it's French. Yeah. Toulouse is good. I've been there once. I think it's good. I think I got salmon and like these uh, lentil lentils. Is that where I went though? Yes, it had to be Toulouse. No, that was Bisou that I went to. But I've been to Toulouse. When did I go to Toulouse? Alright, they're clearly not answering. So let me figure out when I've been to Toulouse and see what they have. Either way, a Macero or Toulouse, I'm down. I think my phone's about to die. Mm -hmm. 
I know I'm gonna like. Mm. Let's do Macero because I'm in the mood for Mexican. Okay, man. Did you get it? My phone's dying. Oh, so we'll just walk in? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Can you get the direction? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, how do you do it? What website? Uh, what's this? Maps. Okay. You can't do that on Safari. Uh, It'll take you to Google Maps. Okay. Yeah, she just got an iPhone, so she's learning. Excuse me, I don't like iPhone. Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Okay, Masero. Um, Legacy West. Oh, we're close. Did yeah. you know that? I know. That's why I said let's oh. go to Legacy I'm going to ask them to uh, charge my I phone. I know you don't know your direction. Sure don't. All right, guys. So we'll see you when we get to Masero. Look, y'all. Oh, if it will focus. Me and my mommy are matching. Let me see your feet. <laughs> All right, so guys, we actually changed our mind like three times. We wanted to go to Toulouse, then we wanted to go to Macero, then we wanted to go to Fleming's, and now we decided on Benihana. Mommy is this way. <laughs> but yeah, now we decided on Benihana, so we're on our way right now, <laughs> walking to Benihana. We look so cute in our Sunday's best. No, this is not my Sunday's best. Well, my Sunday's casual. Sunday's casual, period. I love that. <laughs> so, very excited because I haven't been to Benihana in months. You look great. Y'all all look great. <laughs> um, so, I'm very excited because I haven't been to Benihana in literally like months. Ah, it's blurry. So, I'm ready to eat. Yummy, yummy food. Okay. Uh-uh. Oh, -uh. they're, um, they're not closed, though. What? There's a line. There's a line. There's a line. Oh, my. Oh, let's see if we can get in. If not, then it's only two of us, so maybe we can. Let's see. So, guys, we are actually at Macero. Um, Benny and I have, like, a 50-person line, and they wouldn't even, like, take, like, people walking in and like waiting anymore so um and we didn't want to sit at the bar like if i feel like if you're going to benihana get the experience right so we are at macero we finally decided on the macero which is okay because i was kind of feeling mexican today anyway so i'm very excited to eat because i'm hungry i've not eaten since we ate breakfast this morning have you eaten since we ate breakfast snack you snack lucky i did not so I want to get copyrighted because there is music playing, but we're at Macero. I just wanted to update you guys before you see Mexican food and we're just confused. So, let's order. She can't stop smiling because I just sent her some pictures. I'll show you guys, probably put it on the screen. Um, but I just sent her some pictures, though actually the whole family in the group message, um, for some pictures that we did from Jake for JBW for Mother's Day. Hold on. <laughs> so cute. You look beautiful, mommy. Thank you. <laughs> So y'all, I did go ahead and get my hair done by none other than Touched by TJ. And this hair that we are installing is this beautiful body wave, a 22 inch from none other than Alimo Hair. All of the information on this wig will be in the description box down below. But for now, let's go ahead and just watch the sleigh. So TJ did go ahead and glue on a wig cap for me. And we did like the glueless glue in <laughs> install for this hair. And I use it for some beautiful pictures that you guys should have seen on Instagram. Instagram. So if you guys are not following me, go ahead and follow me on Instagram first and foremost and watch the sleigh.
right, everyone. It is apartment hunting day one, because I don't know if this is going to be the only time we are apartment hunting. Um, I'm not really looking to make a decision today. In fact, I think I'm going to take my time, especially because this is going to be a place that I believe to be for, you know, in for like, you know, maybe a year or two, basically until I'm ready to buy a house, which is not going to be uh, much further in my life than right now. So I'm really not looking to make any quick decision or anything like that, guys. I'm looking to take my time with this process and really just get an apartment that I like. Because if you guys don't know, if you guys can't tell, I am going to be moving to Dallas. I'm, I've made my decision. That's what's happening. But I need to find a place. So even if I don't sign a lease till next month, then I just take you guys during this whole apartment touring um, or yeah, apartment hunting uh, and touring and stuff like that journey with me, then, you know, we're gun co in it. So yeah, Dallas, we're moving, we're, we're gonna be here. I brought the person, the only person that's actually going to be living with me, to, with me. I brought the person that's going to be living with me, the only person that's gonna be living with me, with me. And it's not a person actually, it's a, a, an animal, Princeton. So Princeton is uh, right here next to me and I put his little leash on and his little sweater on and we are going to go to the first location. My friend Ben is actually meeting us over there um, because like I've been so busy since I've been back in Dallas and I haven't really had time to hang out with people so this is really the only window I have to hang out and it just so happens to be my apartment hunting and since he'd probably be over anyway, I'm just like okay, yeah, you can apartment hunt with me or you can look at the apartments with me. So doing that and then we got some other things to do tonight that will be in the other vlog because it's just strictly for apartment honey so i just wanted to update you guys we are looking at three locations today um probably gonna go home decor shopping again tomorrow with my mom it is mother's day tomorrow so um yeah i'm very excited to see what is out there i'm very excited to see what is out there so I will, oh, they're playing games and stuff again. I remember those days when my brother used to play baseball and stuff like that. Y'all, I'm literally passing my old middle school right now. Bowman Middle School. This is wild to even be looking at because I have so many memories from this school. And then down the street, we go like all the way down is Williams High School. And that's like where I went to for junior high. And then for senior high, I think everybody knows I went to uh, Plano East Senior High, Pesh. I can go, you know, Pesh Panthers. I was a golden girl and all that. I was in the drill team. I don't even know why I'm giving you guys my history. I think it's just because I'm seeing the school right now. And that's crazy. Bowman Middle School and the 7-Eleven across the street where everyone used to walk to right before school. We weren't allowed to, but we did it anyway. Well, okay, let me not say that. I ain't really do it. I did it like once. My brother did it like once. But anyway, y'all, um, I am very excited to get to the first location, so I'm gonna holla at y'all whenever we get there. All right, y'all, so we have made it to location one. Princeton's right here. And I'm about to get out my purse and head in. We're actually like 11 minutes late, so we gotta go ahead and tour like now. Look who's here with me, guys. It's Ben. Chris, I'm with Princeton. So, even though I'm late, I think they're late. Because we haven't left. So, we're just waiting, and what's going on with this thing? Am I seeing things I'm not supposed to? So, first impressions, I actually really, really like their lobby. It's very bougie, it's giving me. Our, our apartments are equally bougie, so I'm not mad at this decor. Makes me want to maybe catch Lucky. It's kind of nice, but yeah. So far, not hating the place.
we are at the last location. I didn't really take video content of the actual apartment at the last place we were at. Um, because I was like, oh, you know, there's a possibility I might live here. But I'll show y'all pictures that I took. I'm not gonna live there. It's way too much money. Way too much money. And if y'all see the pictures, the actual bedroom that I would use as my bedroom, there's windows right behind it. I just, I've never seen that in a bedroom. Not like, and they're not even like floor to ceiling windows. Like if it was like floor to ceiling windows, I consider it. There's no balcony. You can get like, you, you can get into the apartment using your phone, which is cool and stuff like that. But just for the price, it's just not worth it. She's talking about, oh yeah, you know, there's a really large community here. Community, community. I'm like, I can't even leave my apartment. So the community wouldn't be worth it for me. The dog run. There's a dog run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I videotaped that. A little bit of that. There's a dog run. That was cool. That was cool. But we are at the last place right now. We were trying to go to lunch. But this place is busy on the weekend. Which. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, honestly. Do you think it's a good or bad thing? I mean, it's a Saturday at 1 o'clock. It's a hot city. So if you're single and you're trying to meet somebody, and I think it's a great spot. And if you're in Diacha, it works better. Possibly, but I mean... Let's be real. But it is soccer, though. Yeah, but you, everybody was... Watching people play soccer. Tell, I, you said... That, did you do the W on purpose? Everybody was... Watching me. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, that place is not for me. And um, did I, I didn't tell you guys. Okay, so the first apartment, I guess they had told my locator different news than what we were given when we got there. So when we got there, she was like, yeah, I'm going to keep it a buck. Because <laughs> she was black. She was like, yeah, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. We don't have that. We don't have what you're looking for. And I was like, okay, then I shouldn't be here no more. And then she goes for an, an extra 30 minutes to tell us how much she didn't have what we were looking for. So... Yeah, I keep saying we like he's about to live with me. What I was looking for. Shit. <laughs> hey, if there's any single ladies that's trying to get banned, get at Ben. Hit them up. What is your social media? I don't have social media, but I'm, I'm, I'm about to do a 10 episode blind date series. On what? Uh, Y'all tap in. Tell I'm about to do it. Send on that. what? On what platform, though? Tap in. Just know whenever it's out, we'll we'll get it out. Ten episode blind date series. So you're gonna? You think these ladies are gonna allow you to take them on your dates? Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll see. We'll see. Go after this. What do you want to eat? Uh, I was trying then, to eat some. Like we can get anything. Uh, well, sounds good. I don't care. Thai, sushi, Genghis Grill. We're going to have to eat outside for any of these places. Um, oh, look at he sleeping. Oh, sorry about that. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Brandy's. They have great properties. He's so precious. He's so precious. Mommy loves you. Um, you. My head is very circle, especially when I smell like this. <laughs> See? Whoop. Tired. I just am tired of looking. Not gonna lie. I'm tired of looking at you. Okay. So if you had to say the dream thing about everything that you want, mm -hmm. list it all out. All right. I want very aesthetically pleasing cabinets and like the layout in general, like the wood on the floor. I need it to be very like aesthetically pleasing for videos. The cabinets, I need them to be a little brighter. I don't mind dark cabinets because I have dark cabinets in my apartment right now, but light cabinets will do really good for videos and stuff like that if I want to film in my living room and stuff like that. Okay. For like lifestyle content. Okay. Um, I need the second bedroom. That's non-negotiable. I need the second bedroom 
for um, when I'm doing beauty videos or sit down videos any video to where I can film at night and it still look like it's daylight because I have like my LED lights and everything still like you know in play because that extra room I could put all my equipment in there if you see like my place right now all my equipment's in my living room mm. and when people come over they're gonna see like umbrella lights and stuff like that because mm. the takedown process is just so much I'd rather have all of that set up in my media room makes a lot of sense you know what I mean and that's also my office space so I'd rather not be doing all my work on my bed and editing my videos on my bed and falling asleep because I'm on my bed and then doing it on my couch and I'm not gonna sit in a bar stool for four hours to edit a video let's I'm not doing that mm -hmm. you know so I'd rather have that in like an office space so that's I definitely need that second bedroom and that's also going to be like a second closet for me kind of like a built-in closet so with everything that I'm like trying to like put in place I need that second bedroom and I need it to have like the layout I need which is like a blank <clears throat> wall like a regular bedroom that other place Y'all, the windows behind where the bed would be, how is that going to work? She could have even charged her phone if she had to put her bed there. The plug is literally behind the bed. I couldn't do that. So, it just it just not it would not work. So, yeah, I need a layout for the actual bedroom I'm going to be in to not be like that. I don't care about closet space. If I'm being honest, I really don't care about closet space. I just need the place to look aesthetically pleasing and not like there's one on the list that looks very traditional like y'all remember my old bar like apartment it was given that but even worse i mean at least the living room was in carpet like my old apartment i was just so young and naive i couldn't film in that place at all so you're not a fan of the outdoors not particularly okay why no balcony see okay the only thing i use my balcony for it's for extracurricular activities. Hey, he isn't like an India chai. Say um whenever I'm speaking clear English. Mm -hmm. And whenever I'm talking to my people, mm -hmm. I've never heard them say um to me. And it yeah. just it just really it really makes me question life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, are you saying huh because you really don't hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Or because you're trying to tell me to speak English? Which I am. It's just I have a little twang to it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like we're all from the South. They should definitely know what we're saying. They should. Or maybe we're more relaxed when we speak the English. We draw out words a little more than the usual. Mm. Oh. oh, she's not even going to clean it? Oh, obviously. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, see, this is what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Mm. Yes, you see the vision? You see the vision. You see high the vision. Class. That's what I'm trying to do. This is high But class. I just want one side to be that. Are you a stilettos or a pumps type of woman? I'm whatever's comfortable kind of woman. Oh, I don't care what shoe it is as long as it's comfortable. That's why that's why listen, y'all, if you find a staple shoe. But if you're going out and you really wanna, you know, Dude. Whatever is comfortable. I don't, bro. I don't care what people are so seeing on wearing, my feet. So you're wearing flip flops? No, I'm talking about whatever heels are comfortable. Okay. Yeah. Because look, guys, I love a good red bottom. Mm. I love a good YSL heels. They're cute, right? But I'm a whatever is comfortable. So if Fashion Nova is more comfortable than Christian Louboutin, I'm wearing Fashion Nova. Absolutely. And if that's the most comfortable pair of shoes and I, I have and I want to wear them in every picture, I'm going to wear them in every picture, damn it. See, that's the thing I love about women. Men cannot do that. Yes, y'all can. Y'all can. If you pay for some YSL boots and that's what you want to wear every picture, I'm going to let you do that. You pay for them. Okay. But we can't. Let's say we buy some Tims and then we go to H&M and we get the shoes that look like Tims because they're more comfortable. Mm. It's not working out. Yeah. It's not working out. I feel like because it, it all feels the same personally. It all feels the same, but it's not the same. Everybody gonna be like, he got, he went to H&M. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Well, anyway, y'all, we're gonna holla at y'all whenever we get inside the final apartment that we're looking at today. So. Hey guys, so. That was the place. That was the place. I feel like as I grow into whoever, 
I'm becoming, whoever she is, my expectations change and what I'm looking to get for myself changes often. And I think, I think we did it. We did it, Joe. I think we definitely found the one, for sure. Definitely found the one. And I'm very, very happy. I know it's very windy, so if it sounds windy, guys, I can't do anything about that. I'm really, really sorry. Maybe I'll put, like, closed captioning here during this time. But I'm very excited, guys. Like, I'm, I'm very pleased with the decision we've made. And I'm very ready to move in. So, new empty apartment tour coming very soon to you guys. Um, what else? I will be buying new things for this place because I think I really kind of gave up on like decor at my place so I'm really looking forward to like starting over because I'm signing over a year like it's not even gonna be just a year like I'm this is definitely gonna be my place for a while so in their new apartments so what do you think Ben what do you think about the place that I selected it was great it was fantastic I can see me pulling up there in a couple, a couple months section that was great it was wonderful i'm glad you said that because that's gonna be great for like a lot of like outfit pictures and stuff like that so there's some reasons yeah the room was fantastic the lighting was great thank you, you it know, really was really was two balcony not two balconies but two sections to go on the balcony mm -hmm. and the thing i like about the apartment the most is that like the other place that we toured she was like talking up these uh, like things and amenities that I really didn't care about that were actually turning me off like what what did she say that I ain't like she was talking about that. she was talking about how like it, it is really dark and that's great for like you know so you don't have to turn up the like air conditioning and stuff like that and I was like that's not a good thing I need it to be light so that I can like you know if I want to film in this area it's not too dark you know and stuff like that and yeah and it looks like a hotel walking in and like where my apartment is like where i am right now um everything is like outside yeah. like whereas with this everything i like this i'm definitely gonna have to buy a wagon though for like whenever i'm like moving all my stuff like you know grocery wise because uh -uh, i'm not carrying like a whole thing of water and like, extra grocery bags that whole way i'm not doing that so Apartment hunting has been a success so far. Um, I am going to go ahead and apply for that place. And I'll definitely get approved. And yeah. I'm moving y'all to Dallas. Dallas, welcome me back. We in the triple D. We in the, five, the south. We're in the south. The south. So, I'm excited to be here. So I'll probably see you guys a little later. We'll probably do like some decor shopping some more oh oh yeah you want to do that after this just want to go some like one place okay so like see what's out there okay. if we have time okay, okay. all right guys see you guys in a minute hit me up if you wanna